And welcome, mateys, to Aubrey Books and Coffee. Yar! Grab ye favorite beverage of choice and join me. No, this isn't the normal way that I do things, but for September, can you guess the kind of theme I'm going to try to go for? Talk Like a Pirate Day is in September, you guys. So my TBR, I'm going to try to put as many pirates, ocean, witches, sirens, water, ships, <laughs> treasure, as much of that as I possibly can. I'm going to try to put into my TBR this month. And all of that will also go towards the readathon I'm planning on doing this month, month which is the Battleathon by Mel with Mel Reads. I'm going to have a picture and I'm going to link below and that way you can follow as well. But I am so excited, you guys. I never get to bring out me pirate booty until this month. And so I have. But let's first, before we dive into those great books, let's see how many we're gonna have to have with our rolls. Okay, let's see how many prompts we're going to have to do this month. Six. Okay. We're going to have six rolls. Let's do this. Oh, I'm excited. And the first one is a book. And the prompt says... A short read of 300 pages or less. Yay! So six different prompts is not so bad, and I am grateful because I hope you know by now things kind of run wild when it comes to my TBR building each month. So six is a nice, calm number. I know it's going to be utter chaos when I get above and into the two-digit numbers that I roll. So anyway, for that first prompt, we got a smaller read, so three around 300 pages. This one's a little bit over, especially in this format that I have. It's 300. 18 pages. I'm still going to count it because most of my books are well over 400 that I do on a daily basis. So I'll be okay with the just a little over 300. Now this one does not have a pirate in it and I'm kind of stretching the prompt a little bit, but there's some blue in there and there's a ocean in like outside of England and stuff, right? So Sorry, I'm going to go ahead and do that because it's the only one that was around 300 pages on my shelf. I chose Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I've been excited and wanting to dive into this series. I've heard such great things from everybody. So I am excited to start with the first one. Um, this follows Audrey, who was raised to be a Victorian lady, but then her mother dies, and that makes her obsessed with death. And so with her, sorry, I'm gonna have cats running around, um, makes her obsessed with death. And so she starts secretly apprenticing apprenticing in forensics to try to learn more, which leads her to an ongoing investigation for a serial killer, Jack the Ripper. So I can't wait to see what happens and let you guys know. Rule number two is a cookie. And the cookie is a seasonal read. Oh, that's perfect. So our second prompt is a seasonal read, which is perfect because, again, I'm trying to pull in all these water pirate ships, treasure, and so on books. So for this one, I chose Sing Me to Sleep by Gabby Burton. 
Now, this is about a siren, and this was the beautiful Fairy Loot Edition, which will be up for grabs if it's not a five star. And so I also have an art print that will go with it. And this follows, I believe her name is pronounced Sororse, is that correct? <laughs> I'm sorry, we're gonna go with it. Sororse by day um, transforms herself as a fae and a soldier in training good little soldier but then at night she goes out as a secret assassin and uses her siren gifts so i am excited to read this and feel all good and piratey with it roll number three is a coffee i'm loving that all of them are different and the coffee says an audiobook so prompt three is an audiobook, which is splendid because that's how I do most of my books anyway. And one that I really wanted to read and see what all the hype is about was Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. Again, beautiful edition that if it's not a five star, we'll go to you guys. All I know about this is it's supposed to be some games that are fought to the death that are held at the palace each year. And so we're gonna follow a main character who's attempting to survive these games. That's literally all I know. But I like it because it also has a ship. So it totally counts. Okay, rule number four is another book. Oh, and it says color, oops, color in the title, and we have a coffee break. So prompt number four gives us a color in the title. I chose Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. This has been on my kids' shelf for a while, and she actually was thinking about unshelving it, and I'm like, you know what? I think I may have to steal that because it looks really good. It's got prophecies. It's got magic. And inside this city of, I believe it's Tova, um, they know an eclipse is coming, and there's supposed to be something huge that's going to happen and magical at that time. Well, it talks about a ship that sets sail from a faraway place heading to Tova that's going to arrive right when the eclipse happens and has a harmless passenger on board who typically when it's harmless is like a villain right but either way it's got a ship in it and color in the title I'm happy our coffee break come on caffeine please give us some caffeine I get to get a new bookmark. That coffee break was so nice to us. Hooray! So because of that, I am going to be getting some bookmarks. Well, at least one. And I'm choosing to do, following along with this readathon that I'm going to be doing at, on Mel's channel, I'm going to get some bookmarks that Cassidy from Covers with Cassidy created for it. I'm going to make sure there's a picture here and a link below to her shop. And I am so excited. I'm going to get one of them. I'm going to be on Team Red Dragon. So I'm going to try to definitely get a red one. Maybe the whole set. We'll see. All right. Roll number five is a coffee. And it says newest publication date. Rule number five gave us newest publication date, and for that I chose Threads That Bind by Kika Hatsupulu. And you know I pronounced that completely correctly. <laughs> Um, this is going to follow Io. So Io, um, she basically can see threads of people's lives and when they're connected to others, which kind of makes me think of the book uh, Kiki, if you guys are Kiki, K-A-I-K-E-Y. That was one of my book of the month picks. Um, it makes me feel kind of like that because she could see threads between people and relationships as well. The only difference is um, for Io, the threads are actually life threads. And so what happens is she's unfortunately a witness to a murder. And when she tries to seek out the killer's thread it's been severed so a severed thread means they're supposed to be dead so why is this killer walking around killing people so it's going to be this adventure that she's going to have to go on i say it counts because there's um you know some blue in there and um because uh the like city she lives in is called atlante which sounds like atlantis we're gonna we're gonna make it work 
our last roll is another cookie ending on a sweet note. <laughs> and it says, ooh, a cat pick. All right, it is cat pick time. Let's see, Stevie. Come here. Which one are you going for, buddy? Which one are you going for? You choose light lark? <laughs> okay, good news is you get both treats. Thank you. Thank you for choosing. Oh, maybe uh, maybe Whiskey's going to come up and help choose. <laughs> You're going to help choose too, Whiskey? I think there's only one left. And Stevie stole that one too. So you guys got to see Stevie and Whiskey a little bit there. Don't feel bad for the kitties. Everybody got treats at the end. I I know, I'm a softie, what can I say? But meanwhile, Stevie chose Light Lark by Alex Astor. Um, it's a beautiful edition that can be yours if it's not a five star. Um, all I know about this is Light Lark is an island, so that fits, right? Ocean and island, um, that happens to appear every hundred years and hosts a game, a very risky, life-threatening game. That's all I know about it. But I am excited. I have a lot of books this month that are going to have to do with games. Mm -mm. Now we get to pick from the apothecary jar. All right. So many on this TBR list. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> and it says, if I can get it to come in. Oh, there we go. Kind of. Is it? There we are. The Bone Witch series by Rin Chupeco. Okay, so the jar gave us The Bone Witch by Rin Shapiro, I believe it's pronounced. All I know about this is it has to do with scorned witches and curses and resurrections and magic and... It just gives me all the feels for that. I know it doesn't quite follow piratey, except that, remember, the pirate flag is a skull and crossbones. So it counts! Woohoo! Now I get to do the advent jar picks. And again... I read all of the books that I was excited about for last year, so we're down to the last two. So I'll let you know in a minute what my plan is after this. Oh, I get to read Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Oh, I'm so excited for that. And the other one is Memphis by Tara M. Stringfellow. So our last two books finally were drawn and that takes us completely to the end now of that jar. More on that to follow. So we have The Book Lovers by, why can't I never remember, Emily Henry. <laughs> Um, I don't know anything about it. It just, it has me. It's going to be a romance like she normally writes. And it's got to do with books. I mean, what more do I need to say about that? The second one is Memphis by Tara Strongfellow. I know this is going to be a heavy one. I've heard mixed reviews on it, but I'm excited to read it, make my own opinion, and let you guys know from there. Now, the info about the jar. It will not stay empty because I enjoy getting to draw these two books every month. What I am going to do is scour my shelves and all of those book box books, so those beautiful editions that I have, I'm going to make sure I write them down on a card and I put them in that jar. That way, I'm hurrying up to catch up so that I have them ready whenever we do our drawings and whenever we have the 12 days of Christmas giveaway. It's only a couple months away, believe it or not. September, October, November, December. So we are getting there. So I want to make sure I have all of these beautiful books read and ready for you guys. I'm so excited about this bookopoly rule. So last time we landed, remember on Pride and Prejudice that I just couldn't make out. <laughs> 
And here is our go. I really believe this time, you guys, unless we get snake eyes, we're going to go past go. And I hope by now you know what that means. Ooh, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, which has us landing on my wheel for my TBR. Woo, I love getting to pick off that wheel. Again, so much backlisted here. So, hooray! Hooray! We passed go. So, I'm waiting to see who posts first below. You know the rules by now. If you don't, you better watch my other TBR games to find out. <gasps> Shameless plug. I mean that way. Well, anyway, moving on. So, the prompt we landed on though after we passed go was for my wheel, my TBR color wheel. I am so excited cuz I mean, seriously, guys, just when I get 5 or 6 off of that list, I add 12. So, it's ongoing, right? Such is the life of book people. But anyway, whenever I spun that cute little wheel, it came up with one I had just gotten a beautiful edition of, and that is One for My Enemy by Olivia Blake. I am so excited. This will follow the Antonova sisters who are beautiful and charming, and everything's going great for them. They are the daughters of a woman named Baba Yaga. That should sound familiar. She's known for selling um, really exotic kind of antitoxins and, you know, cures and potions and things. But I guess for uh, what's going on in this world, there has been some clashing of families for a while. And for 12 years, they kind of had a fraught stalemate going on. But then something happens that just throws them back into that war and chaos. I love that back to back I get to now do the color wheel again for that number generator and when I did it landed on Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. I don't know much about this except that it has to do with water which is perfect and I love Mira Grant. I am really enjoying every book that this person puts out. So I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm pretty sure it's going to have to deal with the ocean and creatures so we'll see. And of course, I want to continue reading these Star Wars books on the timeline. Next up is Darth Bane, Rule of Two by Drew Carpishan. The sequel to the one that was last month. I, you know, I don't do spoilers, so I'm going to try really hard not to spoil anything. But this book's basically going to continue to follow Darth Bane and someone he picks as his apprentice. I don't want to give anything away. And there's a reason why we're following just the two of them now. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Of course, I'm also reading the Robin Hobb universe, and I am so excited to finally read the last one in this trilogy, Fool's Fate. <sighs> I love me fits. <laughs> I do. You know, I do. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen, especially with some of the previous characters mentioned in other trilogies in her world as she's now bringing them into with the world with Fitz. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with that. Again, try not to spoil anything, but if you know, you know. And so I want to see so badly why. Why is she combining these worlds? One I really didn't care for and then the one I love. And I'm excited to see what happens with that. And of course, I am involved in two book clubs, uh, my own ABC book club and Kim with Whimsical Narratives. So for the ABC book club, we are going to be reading Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I am so excited. This is completely piratey. I don't want to spoil myself to know anything else about it. I'm excited to dive into it with everybody. I'm posting on Instagram. Please feel free to join us. I have a picture there, so you just need to look for that. And yeah, have fun. It's very low key, very calm. And we're like, we just, we have a great time. There's also Discord that will be linked below. You can, well, you're welcome to join us there and chat and have a good time. As for Kim's, she is having us do Written in Bone. Now, this is going to be a work of nonfiction, but it's going to kind of be 
a story behind if you've ever watched the TV series Bones. And I love that series. I love it so much. My husband got me the complete collection a long time ago, and I rewatch it often. I can't wait to read this with the group and have her live show later. I'm also participating in the Reddit Fantasy Bingo. For this particular square, I chose five short stories. I'm not normally a person who likes short stories. However, I do like Leia Bardugo. And so I chose her The Lives of Saints. And there's several short stories in here that will fulfill that prompt nicely. I think at least one of them has to do with water. So again, it goes with our month. I'm also attempting to read more of the books that come with the bookish items that we get, like in our owl crate and fairy loot boxes. And so the one I chose, I had a beautiful bookmark that I got from one of my book boxes for House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. I have heard such wonderful things about this book. I'm excited to finally get a chance to read it myself. And with it being the ocean, it also fits our monthly theme. Because like so many of you, <laughs> just like me, we start series and don't actually finish them. I have made it now a point to be a part of my little checklist there. So to continue a series that I loved and started earlier this year, I am reading Untamed by Lillian T. James. This is the Crystal Island book two. Book one was Untainted. And I don't want to spoil anything. So I'm just going to say we're going to continue to follow Vera. That's all <laughs> to say about that. Next, I spun my little spinner and it landed on beautiful cover. Now for this, it was so easy to pick. There's lots of beautiful covers. This has blue in it. In the stories, they sometimes have water-like things that happen. So I'm going to just go ahead and claim it because I've been dying to read it. And that's Lore Olympus Volume 4 by Rachel Smith. I am so excited. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, that's such a beautiful cover. I can't wait to continue to follow Persephone and Hades and all the crazies. And you know, I love sharing the top three new releases that are coming out for the month that I am totally going to have to read, and I hope you guys do too. The first one will be coming out on September the 5th, and that's Mother Daughter Murder Night by Nina Simon. Oh my gosh. So it's kind of what it sounds like. Um, we've got grandma, mom, and daughter all together, and they're just going to have a movie night and relax. And then a murder happens next door. And it's kind of a who done it for the three of them to figure out. That sounds hilarious to me. I cannot wait to see the chaos that will come of that. <laughs> the next one will be coming out on September the 12th. And this one is Hemlock Island by Kelly Armstrong. She writes so many good thrillers. I am so excited about this. Um, basically, this follows Lainey, who, because she has funds that she needs to make, um, has to rent out her home on Hemlock Island. So she rents it out. And when she comes back, there's broken furniture, a campfire that she has to smother that almost burns down the house. I mean, could it get any worse? Well, unfortunately, it does. She goes out in the yard and there's literally a hand poking up out of the ground. What did those people she rented it to do? Well, she's trying to do an investigation and pretty soon it's obvious someone's after her. So she's trying to get off the island and there's literally no boats. I know, right? Me too. So then the next one I'm going to talk about, though, is coming out on September the 26th. And that is The Fragile Threads of Power by V.E. Schwab. Mm, I know, right? Um, basically, there's four worlds. They all have their own kind of magic and they kind of share. Well, they all start getting so powerful that one by one, they start shutting their doors and you can't go visit the other worlds anymore. Well, I guess there were a few people, though, that did have the power to do so. And strangely, their numbers are getting shorter and shorter. And now there's only three people left that can do so. 
I know all of these kind of have a thriller aspect to it, but I'm here for it. I'm excited. These are the ones that just made me go, oh my gosh, I have to read that. So, you know. As for the rest of the month, I'm going to continue doing my Nesta Archeron stair challenge, and I'm going to continue doing the Lord of the Rings walking miles challenge. Wish me luck. I'm hoping to be done by the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for all the piratey goodness and joining me. I hope you like, subscribe, and send your friends, and I'll see you next time. Have a great September.